What's up, YouTube? This is Vicente Gonzalez back with another Stardom Sit'em. It's week 11, the week before Thanksgiving. Let's do it. At quarterback, I say start Alex Smith, Matthew Stafford, Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, and Derek Carr, and sit Blake Bortles, Marcus Mariota, Jay Cutler, Dak Prescott, and Matt Ryan. Um, Alex Smith is going against a very bad defense, and he's actually a pretty good quarterback this year. I think he's going to keep producing. Uh, he's an MVP candidate this year. He's going to do good. Um, Matthew Stafford. It has done really well lately. He's thrown for some touchdowns every game. I think he's going to continue that role, multiple touchdowns, um, at least a solid 18 or 20 points. And Carson Wentz, he is probably the head MVP candidate right now. He's running a very efficient offense. Um, he's going to throw for some, they're going to run for some. It's just a great offense, so continue to start him. And some people don't say don't start Jared Goff because he's going against a really good Minnesota defense. But that offense is really good. I, I, I see nothing wrong with that offense. I think it's going to do well despite the good defense. So I think you should start Jared Goff despite the, the negativity. Um, sit Blake Bortles, though. Um, Cleveland is a surprisingly underrated defense, I believe. Um, they actually do put up some okay numbers every once in a while. I mean, they're going to lose, but Blake Bortles isn't going to have his best game. Um, Mar Marcus Mariota as well. He's going to have trouble up there in Pittsburgh. They're, he's just their run offense, and he he hasn't thrown for touchdowns in a long time. That's what I'm trying to say. Is he hasn't thrown for more than one touchdown since like week four or some shit like that. So don't expect him to do a lot. And Dak Prescott, until they fix that O line, uh, and they, they don't have a good running game anymore. And that's what really helped him. They're one dimensional. He doesn't have it anymore. He's not going to be the quarterback like he used to be. Until he proves that he can continue to produce big numbers like before, uh, I say go look elsewhere if you can. Uh, at running back, I say start Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram, Jay Ajayi, Amir Abdullah, Kenyon Drake, and Lamar Miller, and sit AJ Peterson, the any Washington running back, Alfred Morris, Joe Mixon, and Tevin Coleman. Now, Alvin Kamara and Mark Ingram are like last year's Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman. They're a wonderful one-two punch. Both get their touches and both score a lot, and I don't see that changing. For the Saints are now a run offense, it's going to stay that way. Um, Jay Ajayi looks to be established himself as the lead running back against a relatively weak Dallas offense. Uh, defense, I'm sorry. They're going to tire out like they did last week and just not do well. So, and Jay Ajayi is going to be one of the ones to wear him down. And Kenyon Drake, he had a really good game last week. He had that 160-something yard rushing touchdown. and He was also present in the passing game a little bit. Um, I mean, I think if it wasn't for that really long rushing touchdown, he'd have been about on the same production level as Damian Williams. But I think he's better. I think uh, he's going to out-touch Damian Williams. I think he's going to establish himself as that lead back. Roll with him for now. Um, sit Adrian Peterson. He's, he, he was held pretty good against the Legion of Boom. And I think he's going to be held pretty well against the Houston defense, too. They're, they're a good defense. Um, he's not the same running back he used to be. Don't expect much from him. Also, any Washington running back now, Rob Kelly was put on IR. So now it's just Chris Thompson and Samaji Piran. Uh, when Samaji Piran has had his looks, he hasn't done very well. And Chris Thompson has faulted as of late. So I don't expect too much production out of either of them. So stay away from that. And Joe Mixon, he's had his opportunities. And he's now like that lead back, but he just hasn't produced. So don't trust that yet. Uh, and I don't know, Tevin Coleman, some people might think, oh, that's a great uh, RB1 play with Devontae Freeman out. Possibly. I don't think, I don't think he's going to play, though. Anyways, the Legion of Boom. Hell, hell, have held like the, some of the least lowest rushers in the league. Like they held them down to like 50 yards only. Like they don't allow anything on the ground. So don't trust Tevin Coleman this week, especially with that offense is like centered around Devontae Freeman. So just don't don't trust it. At wide receiver, I say start Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen, Sterling Shepard, Emmanuel Sanders, Juju Smith-Schuster, and Devontae Adams, and sit Jordy Nelson, Chargers receivers Sammy Watkins, Dontrell Inman, and Rashard Matthews. Now, Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen are a great one-two punch there for Minnesota. Now, Adam Thielen is a PPR monster and has been for quite a while now, and with Stephon Diggs looking like he used to at the beginning of the season, I mean, I think that's, that's a dangerous wide receiver combo. Um, Case Keenum is the number one guy there, and he throws to them quite often. Their running attack isn't much, and uh, I don't think the Rams can do too much to stop these guys, so I say keep starting them. Um, Sterling Shepard's getting all the looks. He, he, he had like over 100 receiving yards last week, and I think they're going to throw to him again this week, especially if they fall behind against Kansas State. They're going to be throwing all game, so uh, I think Sterling Shepard can have another big game. And Emmanuel Sanders, kind of the same situation. Brock Osweiler seemed to really throw his way last week. Um, I think he's going to do a lot better than some predict, so keep uh, Emmanuel Sanders in as like a wide receiver two or three. And Devontae Adams is like the only guy Brent Hundley throws to. He doesn't throw as much to Jordan Nelson or really anybody for that fact. So Devontae Adams is a safe, I think, wide receiver two at this point. 
Um, sit Jordy Nelson because Brad Hundley just doesn't have that touch with him. It doesn't work very well. Um, and Sammy Watkins. Now, he's scored on the last two games. But the thing is, I think he's only had like three or four looks those, those games. He's gotten really lucky. So don't expect that to continue. It's, it's really a boomer bust thing. And I don't really like boomer bust things. And uh, Chargers receivers, because one, uh, Phillip Rivers is banged up. I think he's still in the concussion protocol at this moment. And they're going against the Buffalo defense. I think the Buffalo defense is really good. Despite last week, I still think they're a pretty good um, Super Bowl, not Super Bowl defense. They're a playoff defense. So just watch out there. I don't think it's going to be that good. Um, tight ends. I say start Evan Ingram, Delaney Walker, Jared Cook, Austin Hooper, and Vernon Davis, if he starts. And sit Cameron Brait, Eric Ebron, Tyler Croft, Charles Clay, and Jason Witten. Evan Ingram is consistent. Um, and that's all you can really ask for from fantasy tight ends right now. There's not a lot of very good ones. So Evan Ingram, if he's on your team, and that's all you got, that's, that's really good for you. Um, Delaney Walker, he's going to have some trouble up in Pittsburgh, but I think no matter what, he's always been a reliable target. He, Marcus Merritt always looks his way. That's, that's pretty good. And Jared Cook, the last couple weeks he's been blowing it up. Uh, Derek Carr looks his way a lot. They continue, they look for that trend to continue. Um, Sit Cameron, great. Um, last week he had a bad week. I think like one catch. Um, and Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't look very good right now. And Miami's defense is sneaky good. So I don't expect too much from him late, uh, right now. He, you may be able to plug him in later, but right now I just, just wait till he does good. That's, that's like what I do is I say wait. Um, Eric Ebron, he had a touchdown last week. But it was only like two catches. Don't trust that. Don't trust the, high, uh, the touchdown hype. He, it's a very inconsistent player. And Charles Clay, we all thought he was going to do really good. But he didn't. Uh, Tyrod Taylor just had a bad week, though. That's the thing. Was Tyrod Taylor had a really bad week. And now, speaking of which, Tyrod is benched now for Nathan Peterman. Who knows what kind of a, a rapport they're going to have. So just wait on that. Uh, don't start Charles Clay yet. Jason Witten, boomer bust. That's, that's the thing. Um, J Dak Prescott could throw his way, especially if he gets in trouble, but the numbers just haven't been there lately. I mean, he could do really well, but he could not, and I'm not, I, I don't think I could trust him. At defense, I say start Jacksonville Jaguars, Baltimore Ravens, Seattle Seahawks, Denver Broncos, and Philadelphia Eagles, and sit Washington Redskins, Minnesota Vikings, Atlanta Falcons, Oakland Raiders, and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, always start Jacksonville, especially against a very consistent Cleveland offense. Now, Cleveland can be sneaky good sometimes, but I think this time, uh, Jacksonville's just good. They're going to at least hold them to low points, and that's what you want. Now, uh, Baltimore Ravens, I don't know if they're as good as they used to be, but they, they, they usually do really well. And Brett Hundley, they're going to try to force some mistakes out of them. I think that's a good matchup. And uh, the Seattle Seahawks, now, Atlanta has an offense that was centered around Devontae Freeman, and they don't have him anymore. Now, Tevin Coleman's good, but so is the Seattle Seahawks. They're rushing defense, so don't expect too much there. And Matt Ryan's just not playing MVP capacity if you thought he could. So I think the Seahawks are a really good play. They're going to force some turnovers, at least. And Philly, that's a really good play, especially if Dallas plays as shitty as they did last week. Um, if they can't fix that O-line, if they can't get a rushing attack going, Dallas is in for a really long day. Um, sit Washington, because New Orleans has that really high-powered rushing offense now. It, it's not a good play. Um, the Minnesota Vikings, um, LA Rams are playing really well. And honestly, I'd say sit the Vikings D as well because uh, Jerry Goff is playing just as well. Um, sit Atlanta because uh, Seattle's going to do really well in offense. They have Russell Wilson. That's all you need to hear there. And Tampa Bay because uh, Jay Cutler can sling it. Um, and their running backs have been kind of pretty good lately. So I think that's going to be an offense that will be a little tricky to stop. stop so that's uh, not a good play. So in conclusion, um, big news. Okay, so Tara Taylor was benched in favor of Nathan Peterman, a, a rookie. Um, you know, we haven't seen much of Peterman, but from what I've seen, he's an okay passing back against preseason people. Now, in my opinion, I think it was a very rash decision. I don't think they should have done it. Tyrod Taylor, besides last week, has not done too bad. He's led to, at least fantasy-wise, good performances almost every week, consistently. So, I just don't think it was a good decision, especially when he was leading them to the playoffs. This was a playoff contending team. So, it'll be fun to watch. But just keep an eye on it fantasy-wise, especially with Kelvin Benjamin. Because uh, I think half of Kelvin's passes came from near the end in garbage time. And Nathan threw a few of those. So just, just keep in mind that there's some big fantasy implications. That offense may not run the same with Nathan. They need to get LaShawn going, and they need to get some kind of air game. So anyways, um, also Rob Kelly is on IR now. So it's going to be Chris Thompson and uh, Samaji Piran there. Now, um, both running backs aren't very good lately. 
Um, Samaji, when he's gotten his uh, chances, hasn't done nothing with him, and Chris Thompson has faltered as of late. So just watch that situation. Neither are very good choices, but um, Chris Thompson, I think, is the better of the two. And with Aaron Jones and Ty Montgomery out, um, at least I think Ty Montgomery is limited, um, Jamal Williams is probably going to get the start, and he's going to do pretty well, so I, I hope. Uh, I think he's done really well the limited touches he's had, and uh, with it, volume at least, he should have an okay fantasy day. That's a, probably our RB3 start for me. Um, this week was very difficult to predict. Um, there's a lot of really interesting matchups this week. Uh, it can go either way. Just, just focus, start your studs and start people that are consistent for you. Now, I'd rather have somebody that I know is going to get me 9 points, 10 points, than somebody that could go off for 15 or 20, but sometimes ends up with like 3. You know? So just start your consistent guys. Um, make that playoff push, and I really hope it goes well for y'all. Anyways, that's it for this week. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week.